Rebuilding locomotives is not a new concept in rarity, and nothing noticeable comes from these rebuilds, but one of them is probably the most unusual out of these E ratings. 9402 originally started its career on the cotton belt, being built in 1975 and spending a ordinary life handling freight across the cotton belt's network. She managed to last into the days of the Southern Pacific, and even a brief career on the Union Pacific. She would eventually be retired in 1999 and sold off to the National Rail Equipment in Silvis, Illinois, where she'd undergo her unusual makeover. Emerging from the NRE shops, it was repainted into a gray scheme, alongside with being derayed to an SC40-2, and borrowing the hood off of a former NSSC40-2. Aside from the modifications, her cab and frame were still original. This new long hood would result in a very long back porch from the rear of the locomotive, which you could probably make an Airbnb out of. This locomotive would eventually become a unique phenomenon with rail fans, as she would eventually spend her career running coast to coast on various freight trains on least of various railroads, before she was kicked into storage in 2014. And from that point onwards, she would continue to decay alongside her fellow locomotives and Silvis. Despite other locomotives being sold off and scrapped from the NRE, she had managed to remain intact even after so long. But she likely will or has met her fate as of recent, seeing as the NRE has sold its Silvis grounds to the RRHMA, or this name right here. And seeing as the last of the NRE's locomotives have either been cut up, moved elsewhere, or likely intact awaiting a disposal, 9402's future is already looking grim. It seems like her days are already numbered.